You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and it's about time I played this. A very well-known arcade title, very essential to everyone's collection, no doubt about it. No questions needed. This should go to your... be in, like inside your thumb drive and all. And yes, this is the quintessential beat-em-up from Konami. This is, yeah, what he said. It's uh, somewhat based from the cartoon series. There's actually only one episode of that, the uh, like the 80s. It's not not the 90s one where you had uh, Jubilee. This was a different cartoon. Um, and yes, I don't know why it only had one episode. It was. It was okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's choose, of course. Everybody chooses Colossus in this game. If, you know, you can. Because if you're, there's six of you, it can't be six Colossus. So, as you can see, it's running really good. And for a, the longest time, this did not appear on any home console. Uh, I think it only appeared in Xbox Live and PSN um, in the late 2000s, I think. So yeah. I mean, I guess we're pretty lucky it even happened because... I'm pretty sure it's a licensing uh, nightmare during that time. And you know how Konami is. So it hasn't appeared uh, ever since anywhere else. So go ahead and load it in your uh, thumb drive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody played this on the, when they if they saw one on the arcade. Um, I uh, do remember I really used a lot of uh, tokens to be honest uh, on this game because I was really desperate to finish it. I remember it because it was the first time I saw it and. There's really a lot of people pl lining up to play this game. And uh, really far already, you know that part where you go against each of the boss before Magneto. And yeah, I was really uh, using up most of the, my money that time. Just so I can make sure to say that... Uh, you know, I finished this game. And did I finish it? Yeah. I, yeah, actually. I suppose I didn't really play it from the start, though. So... If you don't count that, that's fine. I did eventually finish it normally when I got the Xbox Live uh, version years ago. Ugh. Might as well waste my special mutant power. Okay. You know, it may be an old game, but the graphics, the sprite art really holds up well. I don't remember seeing uh, human-sized sentinels in the comics, though. Uh, 
I guess they need a generic uh, opponents for you to beat up. And they just come in various colors. Uh, okay, well, I'll use that as an excuse to switch characters to the other favorite because of his mutant power in this game. Of course, that other generic opponent there with the helmet is a... If you're not familiar with it, it's actually... Um, like a foot soldier in uh, for the Hellfire Club in the comics. I recommend you read uh, the Dark Phoenix Saga, of course. Uh, essential read for X Men, and you'll see those in that uh, arc. And recently, um, or I think it's just about to be finalized, um, Marvel or Disney was able to acquire the movie rights to the X-Men. So hopefully we'll see them appearing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe movie soon. And personally, I hope they stick with the um, original five Cyclops, Jean Grey, Beast, Iceman, Angel and they save the save these guys for like a sequel Nightcrawler, Colossus Storm I just wonder how they're going to integrate it because if mutants exist in the MCU we should have seen them by now or heard of them at least maybe something to do with the infinity gauntlet maybe a reality warping thing happens that causes mutants to appear For those interested, I also played this in the SNES Classic and happy to report that it also works pretty well there. And uh, that's actually where I am able to play a two-player since I don't have like a USB hub for the PS1. Ugh. And uh, the blob. That's a far reach. I 
should stay away. Well, anyway, again a good opportunity to switch characters and yeah, let's have some uh, female representation using Dazzler here. Not quite as popular as the rest, but an essential X character. Alright. And uh, I think that should be it for this video. And once again, this is Konami's X-Men. If you didn't know by now, which is impossible. And it's working great on the PlayStation Classic. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching this one.